Hi everybody, it's Crystal. Welcome to my channel, Baggedy Crochet, and I hope everybody is doing well and staying safe today. So, um, today I thought I would just pop on here real quick. I'm actually over here um, with my couple of my children, and I'm sitting in here working on a new project. Um, but I thought I would pop on here and just for a moment, and I was just sitting here, you know, while I was working on this, thinking about. Um, you know, I was answering some questions people asked me and stuff, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to do a video on some questions, questions I get asked com uh, commonly, or statements that get made <clears throat> commonly. Um, so, um, why don't we around, write down to some, some things I hear quite a bit, you know, and, um, you know, don't worry about if any of them seem like they are ill in nature some of them might be but they affect me <laughs> no more people's words don't affect me actually a lot of the times i find ill comments quite amusing nowadays being on youtube so long you kind of just grow numb to that kind of thing but they're not all like that so number one would be a why do you wear a hat all the time um, well, I wear the hat, one, because, um, hats are one of my favorite things to crochet, although a lot of times I will sport my, uh, logo hat, which is store-bought, um, but, you know, I do have a very large collection of crochet hats that I've crocheted, hats that people have crocheted for me and knitted for me. I've always liked to wear them, um, and I wear them, um, even when I'm not on camera. Of course, I don't wear them in my house, not generally, um, but, you know, I wear them when I go places. Even in, in the summer, I will wear them into a store. Sometimes I'll wear the, a different type of hat, you know, like the sun hat or whatnot, but I just have always enjoyed to wear hats, and also, I have kind of grow, grown, been on YouTube for so long and I've always worn a hat I um, and I'm just known as the crochet gal that has the hat on so that's kind of my trademark I consider the hat my trademark if you want to see me without a hat a lot of people um, ask about that you can look in my tutorials there will be a lot of tutorials um, that I will pose like a picture for cardigans or whatnot and I won't some of them I won't have a hat on you know so you can see that but to tell you the truth my hair is just all one length and it's just straight <laughs> very very straight actually it was um I had my husband cut it the other day because I'm not a big fan of going to the beauty salon um and um, I told him it was down I mean it was really long way down here um right above my bottom and I said I only wanted a couple inches off but um you know bless his heart he's my husband I ended up with about eight missing um but I'm cool with that because I still got quite a bit left you know but it was quite a shock having that much taken off it wasn't all taken off at once to where I could donate it it was just crooked cutting so it had to be straight anyway so that is why I wear the hat but so yes if you want to it's my trademark that's that's why I wear that <laughs> okay um and the next question I think would be why don't you wear makeup you would look so much better if you wore makeup I get that it doesn't bother me though I don't wear makeup at all not one bit of makeup in fact I don't even own any makeup. I have some lip gloss that's not clear, or but I don't ever really wear it. And chapstick, I don't think that's really considered makeup. Um, other than that, I have not one piece of makeup in my... Um, my daughter, oldest daughter, Olivia, of course she has makeup, but I have none at all. And I don't wear it. Um, reason why I don't wear it, um, I, of course I did when I was in high school and whatnot, but then I just realized, I, I don't know, I just didn't, I don't like the way makeup feels on my face. How about that? That's all I can say. Um, I, I have nothing against 
makeup. I think makeup is fine if you like it, and if you don't like it, it's fine if you don't like it. I, I could carry it away what people do, um, what you wear or not. Um, I have no preference on what other people do with their face. Me personally, I'm not a makeup person. I just don't like the way it feels. Maybe it would make me look better. I don't know. Maybe it's possible. But I just, I am just me. This is what I look like. So I, I don't, um, yeah, yeah, probably makeup would probably do me some good. You're right. I probably would look better with it. But I choose not to wear it because just I don't like the way that it feels on my face. That's all. Um, and I, it's, it's been so long since I have worn makeup, I wouldn't even know how to apply it. So, um, I just go all natural with nothing on my face. I wake up and I wash my face. I do have face creams, of course, I, that I put on in the morning at night, you know, to try to keep me younger looking, you know, less wrinkles and whatnot, but no makeup. So, and I never will. So, um, even though you are probably right in saying that I probably would look better if I wore makeup. I can agree with that. I probably would. Um, I won't be wearing that ever. So, okay. That's, I mean, that's just one that, that it doesn't, that you don't have to say anything about that. It's, it doesn't bother me that people say that. I mean, it is what it is, but they're probably right. But anyways, it is what, this is, this is it. This is me with a hat. Okay. Another question, another, this is a question I get asked. Um, why am I not sponsored by a yarn company and why do I not have affiliated links? I can tell you that. Um, I don't want to be sponsored by a yarn company. I've been asked. I decline. Um, and I don't accept free yarn from yarn companies. Like they try to give me free yarn to show it on camera or whatnot. And I decline that as well. I don't want it. I like to buy my own yarn. I, you know what, there's not really a certain reason why. I just don't want things, I don't want yarn for free. I want to, I don't want to be treated any differently than anybody else just because I have a YouTube channel and maybe I could, like if a yarn company sends, I don't know how to explain it. Say a yarn company sends me yarn. And sometimes they do, most of them know not to send me yarn. I've told them not to send me yarn that, that I don't want free yarn. But sometimes occasionally out of the blue, I'll get some in the mail. And, and I always call that unsolicited yarn. Sometimes I will, if I like the yarn company, I know why they send it to me. Because they want me to open it on camera and it's free advertisement for them. I understand that. Um, and if it's a yarn company I like, I'll do it. And then I'll give the yarn away. I don't ever keep it. And, and if it's a yarn company that maybe I've told many, many, many times to quit sending me yarn, I won't open it on camera. And then I'll give it away. And, and a giveaway. And I just won't say anything about it. Like, a giveaway I'll have, it'll just be in there. And you know what I mean? I, but I never keep it. Never. Um, I don't think that I have um, kept yarn from a yarn company that I can ever remember. But anyways, I just, that's why I, you know, <clears throat> so I, the sponsorship thing, like, I don't, I don't want that because I like to be an independently run yarn channel. I don't want to be affiliated with one yarn company. I'm Bag O'Day. I love yarn so much. There's no way I could just use one brand of yarn. Like, there are, uh, you know, there's some people, you know, if I was sponsored by a yarn company, I would have to only use their yarn. I can't do that. I'm back all day. I love yarn. I show it all the time. I use all kinds of yarn. There is no way in the world I could be stuck just using one brand of yarn. I couldn't do it. I couldn't. So that I don't, I mean, I couldn't do it. That's a major reason right there. There's no way I could just use one brand of yarn. It's just not my style. Plus, I like being independently run. I don't want anybody to tell me how to do things on my channel. I don't know if that's how it is with the sponsorship, but that's not anything I want. I'd like to be able to do what I want to do with whatever ever type of yarn I want to do it with. So, and then, like I told you about the free yarn, I just feel like um, I, I don't want yarn companies sending me free yarn um, because I don't want to be treated any differently than anybody else. You're going to send me free yarn, send everybody free yarn. Um, but if the yarn company, and I like, they send me free yarn, 
unsolicited because like I said I tell them not to do it um, I will open it if I like the yarn company on camera because I know they want the exposure and then I'll give it away to give away affiliated links I have no problem with affiliated links at all I buy from some of my uh, fellow youtubers affiliated links all the time there's uh, you know there's some youtubers um, a few of them that I will always use their affiliated links to buy my yarn from to help them um, I myself do not have affiliated links um, I choose not to have them um, <clears throat> why you all I don't know why I think for me it's just better not to have them again I just want to be independently run um, and I guess affiliated links doesn't really have anything to do with that it's just I just don't want affiliated links I don't have nothing against them like I said um, they're cool I mean it's awesome that you can you know they're just not for me that's all I can say I don't really have an explanation for it um, but they're just not for me but I uh, like I said I buy there's a few youtubers I will always buy from their affiliated links I have no problem buying from people's affiliated links at all I have no problem giving um, youtubers super chats in their live streams I actually enjoy that a lot but I won't accept super chats in my live stream why I, I don't know I just have a hard time accepting things for people and I just don't want my super chats turned on <laughs> so that's another reason I guess I'm not really answering any questions because I don't have any answers for those the sponsorship the ship thing is just because I can't deal with just one yarn and I don't want anybody telling me what to do I'm an independently run yarn channel I want to do what I want to do when I want to do it with what other type of yarn I want to do it with affiliated links are cool for other people and I buy from people's affiliated links sorry if I'm repeating myself um, but I don't have them myself and um, the super chats I love love more than anything to get people uh, my fellow youtubers super chats in their live streams but for me I don't have mine turned on because I don't know why I just don't I don't want them on um, so I just don't like I said I have trouble accepting things for people I'd rather just not have it turned on it's just not for me on that so uh, let's move on okay why do you offer free tutorials but yet I have to pay three dollars for your written pattern okay I'll tell you that right now okay there's the reason for that and that's gonna end soon um, so my my uh, son is actually making me a website at the moment and it's getting close to being done where my, all my patterns that are, in, that are in my Etsy shop will be free but the reason why I don't have them free now is because I don't have a website so most youtubers or bloggers um, they will have a website and they will offer their patterns on there for free but they make money for the patterns from the ad revenue that is on their website so you know you get the pattern for free but they're actually making money off the patterns because you're visiting their website and, and the website is loaded with ads so they're making money that way so they can you know it's okay they're not losing out any money on on giving the pattern for free I have no website so I can't give away every single thing that I do for free because I still have to make a living um, I do have five children to feed and a husband as well and lots of fur babies <laughs> three dogs and three cats and a bunny they all have to be fed um, so I do have my patterns not all of them but I about you know I got about 350 patterns written up out of my thousand tutorials over a thousand tutorials um, in my Etsy shop that I do sell but like I said um, I don't want to have to do that so my son is making the website so soon hopefully eventually it'll be uh, um, they'll be free it's gonna be bagofdaypatterns.com keep that in mind okay we'll be making it live soon um, so hopefully you guys enjoy that um, and then yeah then they'll be free you always have the option to purchase them on Etsy if you want you know um, but they'll be free as well on my website so and the, there's always a free video tutorial 
um, on that. So there's the answer to that question that I get asked a lot. So it's just about, um, you know, okay. Um, here's a big one. Where'd all your yarn go on your back wall? Why is it gone? What'd you do with it? <laughs> it's gone. Um, I gave it away. Um, either through um, YouTube uh, giveaways, other ways I give away on YouTube. Um, I give away to my f some subscribers. I give away to um, randomly sometimes on YouTube. I give away to fellow YouTubers. Um, give away a lot to my neighbors. I have one here and one over here that that likes to uh, have it. I give it away free on Facebook. Um, totes of it. Um, I give it away to uh, nursing homes or, you know, facilities like that around my area. Um, like donated or whatever. Um, I put it in mystery boxes uh, sometimes on Etsy and sell it. I uh, put it on eBay sometimes and sell it. Uh, truthfully, I don't have a lot of yarn left. I have some. It's not here. People thought, I know I always say this was going to be my yarn house. It's not like that. There's not hardly any yarn here. <laughs> this house is actually, um, uh, I'm going to get into that too. Um, but this house is actually used for me to record videos because the internet or at my other house is very bad. Um, you'll see me record videos there sometimes, but I always bring them here to upload them. Um, because it's smoking fast internet here and like the slowest dinosaur age internet at the other house so <laughs> but I only live three miles apart so in the same um, town so it's not that uh, it's not that hard to drive here but yeah there's actually not a lot of yarn in this house uh, really there's no yarn in any of the other rooms anymore it's gone I do have a little bit of yarn in my other house that I keep for crochet tutorials because I have a place over there that I uh, make tutorials at. I also make them here, depending on which house that I'm at. Um, so yeah, that's where the yarn's at. Why did I get rid of it? It was just better that way. Hmm. I like my Freddy wall better. How about that? That's why it's gone. Um, and what do I do with it? I still do unboxings, right? People ask what I do with it. I just said, you know, that's what I do with it. When I get it, I accumulate a little bit of it. And then I'll do what I just said with it. Give it away. Uh, donate it. Uh, make mystery boxes. Put it on eBay. Put it on Etsy. Uh, do whatever. I crochet tutorials. Some of it I keep for myself. I allow myself uh, two to three totes of yarn. That's it. No more. No less. Um... And that is what I do with it. So yeah, that's that's how it is. Some people don't like my Freddy wall. Oh well. Don't know what to tell you. He's not going anywhere. He's my idol. He stays put. <laughs> no more wall. No more no more yarn will ever be put on these walls ever again. In fact, when I look back at my old videos and I see the yarn that was on all four walls. It makes me sad. And I wish that it was never like that. And I apologize to those people that didn't have a, have a lot of yarn and I had to see that. Um, so never again. It's always going to be Freddy. I hope you can deal with it. <laughs> After all, this is my video you're watching anyways, really. On the back of the wall doesn't matter. That's just a reflection of me. It's my, it's my yarn that we're talking about in the, in the videos that I do. So yeah, that's, that's where, that's what I do with the yarn. When I get it, accumulate a little bit of it and give it away. Put it on eBay, put it on Etsy, you know, whatever I said, that's what I do with it. Um, let's see what other questions I get. Where does the name Bag o Day <clears throat> Crochet come from? <laughs> it's a common one. I get it a lot. And it's understandable because it's a, it's a weird name. It is weird. Um, when I first started YouTube, well, I started YouTube in 2014. Um, I would make a crochet bag every single day and I would put the tutorial on. No one would watch them. No one would subscribe to me. But I kept doing it. And I kept doing it every day. 
and I did that for a long time um and um, I just my husband actually came up with that name he's like well you put bags on all the time why don't you just call your name I mean it's bag of day crochet you're right so I'm like okay that sounds cool you know I never thought about the time would come that people would want something different other than bags <laughs> I never really thought about the time a time would come that anybody would ever even subscribe to me and watch my videos but that time did come and people started asking for different things of course I can crochet um, pretty much anything that I want I am weaker at crocheting like Anne Magurumi though I didn't crochet those dolls there's no way I could do that um, I do Tunisian crochet but am I the, I'm not really extremely it's not a strong point of mine so I try to stick with the things that I'm the best at this is what you'll see mostly you'll see tutorials on it on my channel but anyways so people ask me for different things so I started doing different things, you know, all, all kinds of things, clothing, shawls, ponchos, hats, you know, scarves, everything, you know, that can be crocheted. And then, um, bags, I had so many, I just quit doing them so often, but I was at a point in my YouTube, uh, career that I was well known as Bag O'Day. And I found, even though I would have liked to have changed my name to Crystal, my name, clear tutorials um it was in my best interest to keep it bag of day because that's what everybody knew me as but it is a weird name it is a weird name and if I could change it and not you know be confused I would everybody and myself I would still be bag of day to myself I would but like I said it's not my best interest I'd be confused all the time I'd still be wearing my bag of day hat people be like who's bag of day are you bag o day are you crystal clear tutorials you know it'd just be a big it'd be a big mess so i'm bag o day that's how my name came about and it it just stuck and that's what it will always be <laughs> even though it's you know weird but yeah that's that's me um some people say it should be hat o day agreed you know that's another good name because i do wear hats but i can't change it because um like i said it would be in my best interest to keep it keep it the way that it is <laughs> bag of day bag of day crochet i do uh crochet tutorials and we talk about yarn here it's fun i like it i like what i do people ask that do you like what you do i do i like uh youtube a lot um it's brought me a lot of joy over the years i've made a lot of friends i never thought i'd make because i don't have friends in real life other than my family and um, I made a lot of friends through YouTube so yeah I enjoy it I enjoy teaching crochet and everything like that I'm gonna do one more question before I go and I get asked this quite quite a bit why do I have two houses why do I have two houses well I'll tell you why I have two houses so a lot of you probably know this because I've said it before this house right here that I'm at was my grandma and grandma's house and um, there was a different house here on the same land that my dad lived in when he was a child. He lived here on the same land, but the house got hit by a tornado. And then this house was put here um, when I was very, when I was just very young. It got hit by a tornado, I think, when I was like three or something. I don't remember. But, um, and then this house got put here. My grandma and grandpa lived in it until they both passed away. Um, uh, they both passed away. It was my dad's mom and dad. So, um, after they passed away, <clears throat> uh, the house became my father's. Um, and, um, I, me and my husband lived here, we, you know, married and lived here and we raised our children here and I would always pay my dad rent. You know, he, although my dad said I didn't have to because he was my dad, but of course I did because, um, I just, I'm not that type of person. I'm going to, I pay for things that I, that I, uh, buy. I pay for things that I live in. So, you know what I mean? I, I, I'm just about paying for my stuff. So, uh, and then <clears throat> I decided that this house was not big enough anymore. Uh, but I had been saving for a house since I was like 20 years old before YouTube. I always knew that I wanted to buy another house. I just hadn't found the right one. Um, 
this house wasn't big enough anymore because we, you know, we had gotten Clark, which is our big bloodhound. You know, he's over, he's like 125 pounds, probably, probably like 135 now. He's extremely overweight. Well, he's not extremely, but he is a bit, he's, he's chunky. And, and, you know, we have five kids that grew and now you thought this, it was just time for me, us to get a bigger place. So we, uh, we bought, actually, uh, I purchased this house off my father so I could keep it in the family. He sold this to me. And then, um, so it's mine. And then, um, I purchased, well, we purchased another house. We purchased this house off my father and then we purchased another house, um, which is about three miles away. So, cause I don't stray far from home cause I lived this we have lived in this house since, you know, we were married and then married for a very long time. We raised our children here. Um, well, our oldest ones, Adeline's still six. She, she, you know, we moved in our other house last year. So we bought, we, we got that house, which was bigger and, and, you know, but the internet's horrible there. So, uh, I drive back here and use the internet and I record here and actually this house is going to be used for something else and it's going to be kept in the family <laughs> um so uh i wanted to purchase this house from my father because it was where my father lived when he was a child and went to school in the same was in the same school i did and i have two brother two older brothers and an older sister they all went to school in the same school i did my mom went to the same school we all went to the same school the same school same high school it's right over here across the street from me and um it's it's funny because my hu husband would metal tech this yard and we would dig up my dad's old toys those old you know back in the day when toys were made better they were metal you know he'd dig up his old metal army men and i'd go show them to my dad you know his cap guns and he'd be like oh he'd be you know excited to see him because it was and i was just i'm very uh kind of a sentimental type of person and keeping this house and this more like the land and everything was very important to me because i'm going to pass it on um like I said I'm gonna do something else with it which is going to be kept in the family and that way so he let me purchase it kept it but right now it's more convenient that I use it for internet purposes because like I said it's really bad in my other house but I don't mind driving back and forth like I said it's three miles it's not that big of a deal it's just my other house is more rural and I don't get good internet so that is why I have two houses it's not like uh I'm like super loaded and I have like two like super nice mansions. Um, this, you know, I just have two average houses. Um, one of them, this is one that I purchased from my father. I have no loan for this. It's, it's paid for. Um, but the other one I did take a mortgage out. And um, yeah, for those of you that ask, it's just, it is what it is. Some people think oh my gosh she makes so much money off youtube because she has two houses no it's not like that at all it's not like that i i could buy this house very easily um because it, you know i bought it from my father and then two i had saved for so long to buy another house that i had such a huge down payment for the other one I don't know why I'm even talking finances because I don't like to. But it really wasn't nothing to do with YouTube. But YouTube does pay the bills at my other house and at this house. But the bills here aren't really very much money. I only have to pay for water, heat, and electricity, which we never even, in internet, which we rarely even, we don't even use water here, really, the, the toilet. We don't take showers or nothing here. And then um, the lights are only on when, we come, when I come here to record or come here to upload videos. And I always keep the heat low and stuff. So, you know, it's just... But, yeah, YouTube pays the bills at my other house. So, anyways, that's it. I'm going to go. Uh, I talked your leg off. I drank too many V8s today. V8 energies. Yeah, me cap. Give me talking a lot. So, just want to answer a few questions. Hopefully, I didn't bore you. And that it answered some of them. If you have any more that you are just dying to know about Bag of Day Crochet... You can ask me in the comments, and maybe I'll make another video about it um, at a later date. But until then, I'll see you on my next video, which is going to be a crochet tutorial. 
Um, I'll catch you then, all right? Bye, guys. Hey, don't forget to look at all my tutorials below, okay? There's so over a thousand of them. Anything you could ever make. You know my line and multiples of them. Bye, guys. Take care.